So you now you have a friendship with a girl. You're yeah. seeing Muslims who are different. And, and you're studying Islamic studies at school. Yeah. And you start to question some of the things you're learning, yeah. right, about your own religion and about Muhammad, et cetera. And you're meeting more and more new people, yeah. Christians, but a lot of Muslims. And um, eventually, uh, you meet a couple of guys in nightclubs that you used to hang around with and go to the clubs with. But at one point, you go to their house, their apartment, and when you go into the house, um, they ask you if you want something to drink. And you ask for a beer or whatever. And yeah. these guys, who, you're, who usually have beer and alcohol, suddenly are telling you they don't have any. Yeah. And you're wondering what? Yeah, um, this is a guy that I used to see in a nightclub, drinking, always smoking, and he's always some couple of girls around him all the time, in, you know. And the next thing I saw him, a friend of mine wanted me to go to his friend's house. When we get there, ring the bell, the guy opened, it was this guy. You know, I never see him anywhere, only in a drinking spot, you know. And he welcomes in and we sit down, then I feel like smoking. Then I bring up my cigarette in Egypt. You don't just bring your cigarette and start smoking. You need to share it. Offer it to the other guys. Yeah. And I offer him a cigarette. He say no. And I was like, well, you smoke the same brand? He said, oh, he stopped. He stopped smoking. Yeah, so smoking. It's like, why? Are you sick or something? He say no. <laughs> um, then it come to my mind, is it for religion? He say yes. Then he asked him, okay, you, do you want to, so he asked us if you, wanna, if you want to drink. I say, yes. What do you want to drink? I say, a beer. He say, no beer. I say, whiskey. He say, no whiskey. Then I say, okay, I saw a kiosk outside. Can I go and buy some? He say, yeah, you can go buy some, but please sit down there and drink. Don't bring it in my house. Yeah, don't, don't bring, bring it in the house. Yeah. So, I say, why? He said, oh, he stopped drinking too, and he doesn't want the people to drink in his house. I said, okay, forget about it. So I was like, is it too for religion? He said, yes. Then looking at him, as an African, from his futures, I can see this guy from the tribe he came from, he can never be a Muslim, you know? And so it came to my mind to ask him, what religion is that? Because, like, look at this man, I'm trying to keep away from religion, and he is embracing religion. So I said, what religion is this? Said, to my surprise, he said, Christianity. Then I asked him, is it written in your scriptures? Because in my studies at that time, all I know is, yeah, all those things are not allowed in Christianity, but Christians and Jewish, they corrupted the, their scriptures. So you cannot find it there. So I ask him, is it written in your scriptures? And to my surprise, confidently he said yes. Then I say, I wanted to challenge him, you know, more. Can you show it to me? He said yes. I say, what is happening with this guy? <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, he stand up and went to a shelf and came in with a black book in his hand and was going through the pages. And in my mind was, wow, today I have the opportunity to practice all we have learned at school. And when he gave me the place to read, and I read, and I was just silent for some time because I was really hit home, you know. I was like, what I wanted to see was kind of a Islamic commandments or Ten Commandments, you know, that should not drink. And in Islam, it was like they prescribe the uh, kind punishment you are going to receive if you do that, like you know. And but this was something completely different. To me, I feel this is a lovely, a loving and kind father counseling his own children that alcohol and hot drinks 
are not for the body. So I really feel touched, you know. And instead of me challenging him, now I'm just asking, I wanted to know more from him.